What's happening guys? Welcome back to the show. I hope you're having an amazing Thanksgiving break out there. I took a trip over to Walmart and walked in on a big restock. Now they had a lot of the typical stuff we've been seeing lately, but hidden near the Celebrations mini tins, I found some Galler Pal mini tins. Now these used to contain XY Evolution, so I walked over to self-checkout, bought one of them, opened it up, and Bam, XY Evolutions inside. I picked up a few more of them. We're gonna open these up along with some Fusion Strike today because you know I gotta pull that Gengar alt art still. The channel is growing every day, so if you could drop a like on this video, consider subscribing to the channel, and let's rip into this XY Evolutions. All right, you already know we're gonna start out with some Fusion Strike. We gotta get warmed up here. I definitely need to pull the alt art VMAX Gengar. Let's see, I've had some decent luck from my first uh, Fusion Strike ETB. I've also got a three pack blister that we're gonna open up today. Next week, I think we're gonna test out the uh, booster, not booster, the uh, Elite Trainer Box pull rates on Fusion Strike. Here's a code for you. And we got four to the front for Fusion Strike. Let's get the pokey shake out. I'm still very full of turkey. Here we go, Metal Energy, Schoolboy, Primeape, Zarud. How many times can they put Zarud in a set? Sizzlipede, Stuffle, we got Sandigast, Garbodor for our first reverse, Hiding a non hollow Excelgor for our rare. Okay, let's see. Let's do one more Fusion Strike pack here. I've also got a Celebrations mini tin that I want to open up. You know, I'm trying to complete the images that the little cards make on the back of the Celebrations little mini tins. I think there's only two left that I need to open. Here we go. Why is the Pokey Shake so bad today? Maybe I'm feeling, feeling some good pulls. I think I'm just really excited to open some Evolutions again. I was really shocked when I saw them there and I asked the staff that was stocking the shelf if that was a new box and they said that they had pulled a bunch of boxes out from the back because their vendor had not shown up. So maybe this is an old stock choodle for our reverse, ooh, and a non-hollow Latios for our rare. Or maybe, we'll, we'll, maybe we will see the Galler Pal mini tins come back. All right, before we get into the celebrations, let's do this first Evolutions little tin here. I opened this one up after I got it in the self checkout to make sure that there was still evolutions inside. Here we go. Sword and shield base and a nice little Galler Pal mini tin artwork card. Let's start with the sword and shield. Pulled the rainbow Marnie a few videos back. Now we need to pull the regular full art Marnie. That would be pretty awesome. I do need the um, VMAX rainbow uh, why can't I think right now? Lapras, too. Here we go. Fire energy. Can we get some fire? Here we go. Hitmonchan. Great ball. Galarian Laloon. Mincino. Sobble. We got Blipbug. Ball toy. Wooloo. Potion for our reverse. And a non hollow Ninetales with some pretty awesome artwork nonetheless. All right. XY Evolutions. I'm going for a master set of evolutions. One of the big cards I still need to pull is the hollow Charizard. Uh, but I'd be happy with any of the Kanto starters. Here we go. Look at that pack just opened perfectly for evolutions. Bam. You got three from the back, just three for everything in X and Y. Here we go. Misty's Determination. I love just getting to see this base set artwork reprinted again. Porygon. We've got the De-Evolution Spray. Pikachu with those yellow cheeks. I do have a red cheek shadowless Pikachu hiding back there. Growlithe, Machop. Nidoran. Oh, it's so cool. This might be the closest I ever get to opening base set again. Ponyta, Vulpix for our reverse, and Vulpix is hiding a Mega Venusaur EX. There we go. On the very first pack, we hit one of the Kanto starter EXs right on Mega Venusaur EX going into the sleeve from the Galler Pal Mini Tin. Bam. There we go. All right. You know, we're going to sleeve up our reverse hollows too, because those are going in the binder. 
Bam. All right. Let's see. How about how about a celebrations mini tin now? This is one of the last two artwork cards that I need to complete the little image. I'm going to get a nice little frame. I think it looks really cool when they do stuff like that. Here we go. Inside of the celebrations, here is our little artwork card. Very cool. This is the image that I'm talking about. When you combine all of them, it makes this really cool little picture of all of these starters from all eight generations, jumping around, having a good time together. 25th anniversary coin, two packs of celebrations and one darkness ablaze. And how about that? We're starting the day off with two Charizard pack artworks. What do they say? They say you never pull the Charizard from the Charizard pack artwork, but we know that's not true. We know that can happen. Let's see what's in this darkness ablaze. Bam, there's a code for you. I wonder if we will keep seeing the darkness ablaze code errors where the code color does not match what your final pull is. Psychic energy, Pierce, powerful energy, Toxapex. We got more lol. Pokey Shake, what's going on? Wishy Washy, Qfont, Dino, Panseer. Dunsparce for our reverse hiding. Oh, a non hollow Swana for our rare. All right. Celebrations. Nine cards. Get these tins out of the way. That was probably a terrible sound. Nine cards left that I need to pull from Celebrations. The Hollow Zard being one of them. I need the Mew EX. I also need to feel like I'm not bending these when I open them. Mew EX. I need the Xerneas, the Cleffa and the Dark Gyarados. Here we go. No card trick for Celebrations. You could do one, but we'll just go right through them. Zekrom, and here comes Team Rocket from the Classic Collection, hiding a Zama Zenta V. All right, there's the code for Evolutions. Let me get these tins out of the way. All right, putting the Zama Zenta into a sleeve. Bam, putting R. Here comes Team Rocket. Very cool to see this as a little Classic collection reprint. Bam. All right. One more pack of celebrations. And then maybe we'll get into, we'll do the three pack of fusion. And then we'll finish off the day with some evolutions. All right. Here we go. Reshiram. Palkia. Oh, and a Reshiram full art. There we go. If you remember a video from a few weeks back, I pulled at this Reshiram and it was very, very bent out of shape. And I had a feeling I would pull it again right on with the Reshiram hiding a non, oh yeah, not a non hollow, a hollow Segalio. And bam, there's the code. Let's drop our Reshiram into a sleeve. Very happy to have pulled a non uh, bent version of this now. All right, three pack of Fusion Strike. Now, what do I always say? That personally, I have had my best pull rates from the three pack blister combos, regardless of whatever the set it is. Now, that's not to say that every single three pack has great hits in it, but some of my biggest pulls have been the three packs. Let's try to grab this promo out here. Very cool Espeon promo. Do we have a swirl? I'm not seeing a swirl. We'll set this aside. Here's a new code for you. I think that will get you the Espeon card and three packs of Fusion Strike. Let's start with this Genesect pack artwork. Can we pull another incredible alternate art today? I'd be happy with even a full art. And there's some VMAXs that I need to pull too. There's the code for you. Really liking this new code style. Four to the front for Fusion Strike. And we have Darkness Energy, Diggersby, Sydney. Oh, I think I see something at the end of this one. Qua Cross Switcher, Grubbin, Rotom, Carvana, Smeagol. We got Clam Pearl, Meowth for our reverse, and Meowth is hiding a full art schoolboy. There we go. What was I saying about the three pack blisters? Usually have a pretty decent hit in them. Right on, schoolboy full art going into the sleeve. I think I've now fulfilled two full pages of trainer cards in my trainer binder. And we got two packs left here. Now I always wonder when you do get 
a nice hit from the three packs. Is that typically just one? Are you ever gonna get more than one from a three pack blister? Four to the front. And we have got, ooh, Metal Energy again. Cro Psychedelic Krokna, really love all the art from that artist. Dub Wool, more Pico, more Paco. Skarmory, Shelmet, Plessel. We got Amuna, Pukamuku, for our reverse, hiding a non hollow Gorbis for our rare. Okay, last pack magic from the Fusion 3 pack blister. What is hiding inside? I think we might have hit, I think we might have already hit the, the main pull from this little three pack though. There's another code for you. Got four to the front. All right, one more hit would be nice though, even if it was a hollow water energy, Victini. Electric, we got Dunsparce, Dewpider, Onyx, Choodle, Shroomish, Klefki, Hariyama for our reverse, hiding a non hollow golem for our rare, but I really do love the artwork on that golem. All right, nice pulls so far today. We have two mini tins left with evolutions inside. Let's open this one up. Where did the Pikachu pin? Here we go. Lucky Pikachu pin. Gonna do one more final big search for the Charizard pin. And then I might have to just uh, open up another Charizard pin. All right, tear all this plastic off. Now hopefully all of the A20s have the same packs inside. They should. All right, and wouldn't you know it, we've got another Charizard pack artwork. You can get the same coin and sword and shield in each one with the little character card. Very cool, let's set this aside. All right, sword and shield base. Let's open this one up. Still trying to pull that full art Marnie. Bam, there's code for you. Three, four to the front for Sword and Shield, and we've got Darkness Energy. Here we go, Hyper Potion, Team Yell Grunt, Hitmonlee, Nickit, Jinchow, Diglett, Ferrisseed, Goldeen, Pokemon Catcher for our reverse, hiding a Hollow Frostmoth for our rare, right on. All right, Charizard Evolution Pack. Let's try this again. Had a very cool Venusaur pull from the first pack. You can tell how old these packs are because of how easily they open. We got a nice Pikachu on the front again already. Here we go. There's a code for you. I think Evolutions is really cool because even if you don't get a white code, you still have some pretty cool reverse hollows that you can pull in the reverse hollow slot. Maintenance, Switch, Magmar, Pikachu, Machop, I love seeing this base set artwork. Weedle, Doduo, Staryu. We've got Pokedex for our reverse. A very awesome. What is the Pokedex hiding? Ooh, a non hollow Beedrill for the rare. Let's drop the Pokedex reverse hollow into a sleeve. Bam. Very, very cool. I still think the sealed price on a booster box of Evolutions is a little crazy considering what a lot of the chase cards are going for on TCG Player, but I understand the immense amount of nostalgic around base set. And with the very, very uh, high current prices for sealed base set, I think this is a really uh, manageable way for a lot of collectors to be able to Get to see that original pack artwork again. Will we go three Charizard pack artworks in a row? All right, we got the Venusaur, very cool. We got the same coin and a Snorlax sword and shield pack. All right, we're gonna start with the sword and shield. Here we go. Can we pull a Snorlax VMAX from the Snorlax pack artwork? That'd be pretty awesome. All right, get this code out of the way. Four to the front for Sword and Shield, Electric Energy. All right, I was gonna say I'm I'm feeling feeling amped up. I'm feeling electric. I have way too many bad energy card jokes. Here we go, Krabby, Mincino, Galarian Ponyta. We got a Cottony, 
potion for our reverse hiding a non hollow clay doll again with that really awesome psychedelic uh komiya i want to hopefully i'm saying that right artwork very very cool okay last pack magic venusaur evolutions pack definitely going to be keeping an eye out in all of those celebrations little mini tins to see if uh, any other stores accidentally found and put out some of those Galler mini tins. Here we go. Got code for you. Bam. Uh, three to the front. Almost did four. That would have ruined it. Three to the front for Evolutions Revive. Here comes Team Rocket. How fitting is that, that we pulled the reprint from Celebrations. Here comes Team Rocket again, reprint. We've got Magmar, Caterpie, Doduo, Pikachu, Machop, Growlithe. I think I see something at the end of this one. Oh, we've got a Dugong uh, Reverse Hollow. What is Dugong hiding? Oh, we got a Hollow Zapdos. There we go. I saw that yellow border and had a feeling it would be a Hollow right on Hollow Zapdos from XY Evolutions. I think the reprint uh, Hollow pattern that they put on these is really, really awesome. But as always, Pulch Pals, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub. I post a new one every Wednesday and every Saturday. But until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in these next videos.